So, Tom, um, how is it possible, and this is coming from an 80s baby, that you were able to top the swag that you presented to us in the 80s with the original Top Gun with Top Gun Maverick? I have no idea. <laughs> I, have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. We just go hard. We go hard. We tried it. We just tried it. We wanted to be authentic, and that's why it took a long time to figure it out. It was, we just, we just kept going. Nice. You know, fix it, reshoot it, fix it, go, and just keep going. I mean, I always want to get it right, but 36 years fans have been asking for this. It was something that we really had to nail. What did it take, and what kind of pressure did you have to play Rooster, Goose's son? I think it was I think it was the right amount of pressure and, and kind of nerves and anticipation and excitement. You know, I think those are the hopefully the vari variables um, you're dealing with to be able to kind of push yourself a little bit. Um, there's nothing in this movie where you could just do it that the, that was casual. You know, like every day we we're getting up there in those jets and what they were asking us to do and what we knew we had to do to accomplish this film is really no small feat. Um, I don't think anybody thought we'd be able to to get it done. Um, the fact we were able to go up in F-18s every day and, um, you know, and do what we had to do, you know, go up there and understand what we were doing with the camera and talking with our pilots and sitting in briefings with, you know, the best pilots in the world and be able to do it justice is, uh, yeah, it's credible. Speaking about ass on the seat, when you were in the seat of one of these planes, is there anything that you could tell me real quick you experienced, like, throwing up, like, being dizzy like, <laughs> all day. All day, but you see, it's about perseverance. So in college, I didn't know how to puke and rally. I did not know how to puke and rally in college, but here you learned and you, you learned how to do that because you only had two hours to, to get what you had to get, right? So um, a couple times I did, and a couple times uh, we donated back to the Navy in one of those puke bags, but um, yeah, it's just uh, the sensation is unlike anything else. And uh, the moment you're doing eight Gs and then negative one, is you, that's where your stomach starts getting queasy. Now, saying that he's the best in the film, did you have to do any acting, or was it just natural? <laughs> it, 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 it's natural. I mean, I brought, I, listen, I mean, I am the best. I wouldn't say I'm the worst. I'm the best. Yeah, the shades is the, the definition of swag. Now, listen, Tarzan, who had more swag in the movie, you or Jay Ellis? Oh, me? Uh, who? Who? You asked you who had more swag in the movie, you or Jay Ellis? I'm upset you asked a crazy question like that. I, wait. Hold on, let, let, come here, come here, come here. <laughs> he heard the one ask that foolish question again. Oh no, I asked who had more swag in the movie, Tarzan or Jay Ellis. I wanted you to know how ridiculous he was asking that question again. Yeah. All right, next next question, sir. Who were you talking about? Tarzan. I'm, I don't know. <laughs> you were in a movie called. Disney movie? It, uh, it is a Disney movie, but you were in this uh, movie with Tarzan. It's called Top Gun Maverick. It's coming out May 27th. Yeah, I just was he an extra? <laughs> Tell me a little bit about Fanboy and what, you know, you're looking for people to think about your performance with the character. Um, well, Fanboy is, uh, is a fan of all things Navy. He's, uh, he's a hype man. He knows everything about Maverick, everything he's ever done. He's, he's reading the books, he's doing his homework, and then he's going up there as a weapon system operator. Anyways, Coyote is, is the person who feels he always has to prove himself. He always has to, like, outdo himself. Although he is the best, he just wants to let everybody know. And you can see in the film what happens you know when that when he does that yes i i got the chance to play payback uh he's normally a single seater guy flies by himself all of a sudden he gets paired with fanboy who's played by danny ramirez and it's this thing of like you know they got to figure out how to make it work they've never they've never worked together before and they're both trying to compete to be on this mission and you know it, it's a lot of bumps and bruises ups and downs trying to figure out whose plane it actually is but they ultimately come to this place of like two brains one plane they got to work together if they want to go forward and uh you know, we all got to like also go through this like bond together where we got to like train together and go through all this together and like we became like family out of it. Like on the screen we're becoming a squad out of it, but like in real life we became family out of it. What was it like to mimic how did you mimic the exact mustache? <laughs> oh, just a little fertilizer. <laughs> just a little fertilizer. That's it, just a little love, a little TLC. Okay. You know. Because okay. um, it was exact. Oh yeah, no, for sure. I, when I first you know, got and showed Tom. Tom was, he was, he couldn't have been more excited. Nice. Yeah. I'm just excited for y'all to watch it, man, because it's like, it's not about any individual character. It's about the, the, the ride that you're taking on by, um, by Tom and, and, man, I'm just, I, as I talk about And Danny. Yeah, and Danny and, and all of us and all of us. But I think it's just like, it's the movie. You guys are going to watch it May 27th. Get some tickets.
and you'll see what I'm talking about. It's this thing that you can't you can't describe the texture until you go you plant your ass on the seat and uh, and you check it out.